You are making history. We're making history together. This is a, a deeply moving moment for me, both in personal, but also in the national and international terms. Personal will be, well, I can tell you, I told this to uh, Prime Minister Modi yesterday, that uh, almost 30 years ago, I, uh, I went uh, on a date in Tel Aviv in an Indian restaurant and uh, produced uh, two fine children. <laughs> the food was great. <laughs> so uh, yesterday, I asked uh, Rina Pushkarna, who was the owner of that restaurant, to uh, prepare this dinner for this date. <laughs> and it was equally good. Israeli uh, singer of Indian origin, she sang a song, Hauntingly Beautiful, in, in uh, Hindu. But also uh, she sang a Hebrew song, which the Israelis here are familiar with. It's called, Ani Ata Neshaneta Olam. You and I will change the world. I have a feeling that today, India and Israel are changing our world and maybe changing parts of the world because this is a cooperation. It's a marriage, really, made in heaven, but we're implementing it here on Earth. We discussed uh, in our meetings yesterday and today, just now, uh, with uh, several of our ministers and your delegation, we spoke about so many fields where we think we can make a big difference, a big difference in water, in agriculture, in health, uh, in every field, in so many fields, um, in the fields of, uh, that affect the lives of our people, their well-being, uh, their employment possibilities, their, their employment possibilities, their the delegation. We spoke about so many fields where we think we can make a big difference big difference in water, in agriculture, in health, uh, in every field, in so many fields, um, in the fields of, uh, that affect the lives of our people, their well-being, uh, their employment possibilities, their, the uh, longevity of their lives and how they live. So we have uh, decided, because Prime Minister Modi and I are, uh, I think, not only wedded to visions, but we like to have our lives of many, many uh, millions of people, both in, in, in India, it's many hundreds of millions of people, uh, but we're talking about beyond that even. We're talking about also cooperation in third countries and actually working together to better the uh, future of uh, the people of Africa. India is present there, Israel is present and coming into Africa, and we think that by joining uh, forces in uh, various uh, areas that I just discussed and others, uh, we can help the people of Africa as well. So this is very, very exciting, and it tells you how we are seizing the future. We also recognize that we are being challenged. We are being challenged by the forces of terror, the forces of terror that seeks to undermine our world, our countries, uh, the peace and stability of uh, uh, our common civilization. And we have agreed to cooperate in this area as well. I have to say that uh, from this meeting, we shall be meeting uh, young uh, Moshe Holtzman, who was a survivor of the horrible terrorist attack in Mumbai. And I thank you, Prime Minister, for uh, uh, making this important gesture. But this is a, a, an expression of our commitment uh, to fight the bad and work for the good. And I think this is what marks this visit. It's a, it's a partnership to seek the good, to defend the good, to achieve the good. And this is a good day. Welcome, my friend, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Your Excellency, Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, members of the media. Thank you, Excellency, for your warm words of welcome and for the exceptional generosity with your time and friendship. I will truly cherish the most wonderful dinner that you and Mrs. Netanyahu 
hostel for me yesterday our conversation last night meeting mrs nathan yahu learning about your family especially what you told me about your father has taken my experience of a beautiful country to a whole new level india admires the success of your people in overcoming adversity to advance advance innovate and flourish against all odds friends i'm honored to be in israel on this extraordinary visit in our modern journey our paths have been different but our belief in democratic values and economic progress has been a shared pursuit this visit is an occasion to rejuvenate the bonds of our friendship to compose a new chapter in our ties and to jointly venture toward new horizons of engagement prime minister nitin yahu and i have had productive discussions covering an extensive menu of issues not just on areas of bilateral opportunities but also how our cooperation can help the cause of global peace and stability our goal is to build a relationship that re reflects our shared priorities and draws on enduring bonds between our peoples friends israel is among the leading nations in the field of innovation water and agricultural technology these are also among my priority areas in india's development we agreed that efficiency of water and resources use water conservation and its purification productivity increase in agriculture are key areas in deepening our bilateral cooperation we are of one view that together our scientists and researchers would develop build and implement mutually beneficial solutions in the field our decision to establish a bilateral technology innovation fund worth us dollar 40 million for research in industrial development will help us in achieving this goal we regard thriving two way trade and investment flows at the bedrock of a strong partnership prime minister nitin yahu and i agreed on the need to do more in this direction businesses on both sides should take primary lead in such efforts this would also be our message to the ceo forum tomorrow friends india and israel live in complex geographies we are aware of strategic threats to regional peace and stability india has suffered first hand the violence and hatred spread by terror so as israel Prime Minister Nathan Yahu and I agreed to do much more together to protect our strategic interests and also cooperate to combat growing radicalization and terrorism including in cyberspace we also discuss the situation in west asia and the wider region it is india's hope that peace dialogue and restraint will prevail 
friends our people hold natural affinity and warmth for each other the indian origin jews community reminds us of these bonds it also serves as a bridge to a shared future in recent years we have been receiving a large number of israeli tourists in india at the same time more and more indian students are choosing to pursue advanced academics and research in your best universities i am confident that the strength of these links old and new will hold us in good stead of we force a partnership for the 21st century friends around 150 kilometers from here there is a slice of history in the city of haifa in israel that is very dear to my country this is the final resting place for 44 of the indian soldiers who sacrificed their lives during world war 1 in liberate the city that city tomorrow i will travel to haifa to pay homage to our brave indian soldiers excellency nitin yahu it has been a productive and memorable 24 hours in israel i am sure the rest of my stay would be equally exciting let me also take this chance to invite you and mrs nathaniel and your family to visit india oh. i again thank you for your warm welcome and hospitality thank you thank you very much shalom thank you and i accept Thank <laughs> you.